Hey everyone, this is a bell pepper plant, and this is an example of bacterial leaf spot. According to some YouTube videos and some papers I've been reading online by different college extension, uh, different college research campuses and extension services, this has become a big problem for gardeners here in the United States of America. This bacteria can overwinter in the soil and in compost piles and it can even transmit it to its seeds. If you look closely you see that a lot of the leaves are infected with this bacterial leaf spot disease and it can spread to other peppers. You see the close proximity I have of it implanted. This is a yellow bell pepper. I don't know if it came from the seed or if it came from the soil because it can overwinter in the soil and splash up. Last year, I did not have peppers planted here. I rotate my crops. I'm not gonna allow these leaves to decay into my soil, but I wanted you to take a look. All I did was touch these leaves and they fell off the plant. According to some YouTube videos, in 2015, there was a lot of damage done to many small forms from this bacterial. So I'm not gonna allow any of this to decay in my bed. And unfortunately, there's no cure. I'm gonna have to pull this plant so it doesn't affect any of the rest of them. And if you look closely, you can see on the edges, it's starting to affect some of my other peppers. Last year, in 2015, I lost every pepper plant I had. The foliage just falls off. It can transmit this disease to the seeds, so you don't want to save your seeds. It's a pretty good looking plant on the top, but it's got way too much damage. I can't take a chance of losing my entire pepper crop again. So I'm gonna have to pull this plant and throw it away. You can't compost it. I don't know whether or not you can burn it. I don't know if the spores will fly up and spread all over the place, but I'm gonna to try to save the rest of my peppers this year. I'm gonna to go to all of my other peppers and remove all of the lower leaves so I don't get splashed from the soil when it rains. Because this disease mostly affects peppers that are in hot, humid zones. I'm in zone nine and I'm on the Texas Gulf Coast. So we get a lot of rain. Many of my other peppers aren't ex ex uh, showing signs of this disease. So I don't think it's from the seeds. I think it's from the soil. But if I leave this plant, it will spread to all the rest of them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove all the lower leaves and not touch this plant. I'm not gonna spread the disease by my tools or from my hands. After I've removed all the lower foliage from these leaves of all these pepper plants, I'm gonna spray them with a copper fungicide. In the instructions on the copper fungicide, it says that it fights bacterial leaf spot. Once I have everything coated with this fungicide, I'm gonna pull this plant and throw it away. I hope this helps. If you see this, you need to take immediate action. This is a disease that caused the destruction of most pepper plants in the United States of America in 2015. And like I said earlier, last year in 2015, I lost every pepper plant I had. All the foliage just fell off of them because I didn't know anything about it. I'm gonna try to take a proactive approach this year and try to save some of my pepper plants. Thank you and have a great day.